Well, imagine farming almost anywhere and without soil. That's what One Central Arkansas Nursery is focusing on. It's called hydroponic farming, and the nursery is working to not only grow produce, but the industry as a whole. TSV 11's Brooke Buckner shows us how it works and how it can help Arkansans. It opens up boundaries. You know, you're not limited to your, your square footage or your, or your real estate. You know, it, it, we take it indoors. Rob Galloway owns the nursery in Little Rock. It's also home to one of the only hydroponic farms in the state. He says growing plants using only water and no soil has lots of benefits. We use like 90% less water. We can grow in areas where it's not traditional. And you can adjust how fast or slow you want the plants to grow. Introducing more nutrients to them can get them to grow faster. Slowing water rates can get them to help the plant as well. He says this lettuce can grow faster without soil. Galloway says right now they grow 800 heads of lettuce a week, but once this vertical farm is up and running, they should be able to grow 5,000. I would say the biggest thing that we've accomplished so far with a hydroponic farm is just really getting to the point where we can scale and produce a lot of food. And he hopes more people will do the same. He's about to start selling this rack to expand vertical hydroponic farming. We have a patent on the spacers that go inside here too, so we can adjust the grow points. They don't have to stay at this is seven and a half inch spacing that we have here, and so we can adjust it to nine or two or whatever we need to do. He's talking to multiple schools about teaching hydroponic farming to get more younger people interested. We have one in Robinson right now. We have a Pinnacle View Middle, Middle School is looking to doing the same thing, but working with the teachers and working with the programs from the FFA, the STEM in the East, it's important. That really. Um, is a way of, uh, of liberating the food system. The nursery manager, Bo Bennett, oversees sales and says it's a more affordable way to buy fresh produce. What we're doing here is we're able to grow on a small scale something that's um, comparable to what they would be producing in California. So this is running, you know, under $2 a head for wholesale. We um, retail it for $2.50. And it goes straight from this table to the store shelves. We literally harvest it the day of or the day before. Extremely and I just, fresh, yeah. Yeah, we're just pulling it up like that. You can see the roots there exposed, growing directly in a water medium uh, in a net pot with a rock wool cube. He also sells produce to about 10 local restaurants. Well, I match any price that um, they would be paying for a big box store or for a food, re a food distributor. So I try to match that price point to get their business. Bennett and Galloway say one of their biggest goals is to help reduce food insecurity through hydroponic farming. Uh, hydroponics brings the food closer to the people. You know, it brings uh, access to people that didn't have it before. So urban farming is really big. We want to produce as much food as we can. We want to equip as many farmers as we can to farm. We're going to help them. Um, and so if you want to farm, you can come and talk to us. We'll help you. In Little Rock, Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News. And Galloway says he's also talking to state leaders about plans to expand hydroponic farming. He also hopes to get his planter rack on big box store shelves.